Hello, I'm Michael Fasani, and in this video I'm going to teach you how to use the Zoom tool in Adobe Photoshop Creative Cloud. So you're going to spend a lot of time in Photoshop zooming in and out of images and uh, navigating them at a sort of a really zoomed in level. And uh, I just want to show you the basics of the Zoom tool. So you can find the magnifying glass over here, and you click on it to access it, and the shortcut for that tool is Z. Okay, so if you want to get to that tool quickly, you press Z, and it can be quite handy to know these shortcuts because it's going to save you a lot of time in the long run. Okay, so we have two images here, and uh, now I've selected the tool. The option bar up here has changed, and we can now see the settings for the zoom tool. Okay, so you have zoom in and you have zoom out. And then you have some options over here which will do various things which I'll show you. So first of all, um, if you click on an image, you're going to zoom in, basically like so okay and currently we have scrubby zoom selected which basically means that if you click and hold the image will start to zoom in for you now you can also sort of scroll left and right with scrubby zoom so you click and you scroll left to zoom in or you scroll you know left right left right and you sort of zoom in and out of the image okay you can also right click and quickly get to things like zoom out for example so if you're working on a single image and you've zoomed in too much you can right click and zoom out or you can come up here and you can click zoom out um, option and uh, it works in exactly the same way now the difference between right click and using the tools up here or sort of the main difference is you can actually click zoom all windows so when you click zoom all windows and you click zoom in you'll see that both images or all your visible images or in fact all of your images which are even invisible like some of these images up here they're all zooming in right now so you know if you click here and you'll zoom in and if I flick back to the other window you'll see that one's also zoomed in but if I right click and zoom out you'll see that actually only this image is zooming out okay so if I want to zoom out all images I have to come up here and click on zoom out and we do so like this okay so if I turn scrubby zoom off which is a personal preference which you prefer if I turn scrubby zoom off now I can actually you can actually treat your images in a slightly different way and with scrubby zoom turned off you can actually click and drag and this will actually allow you to sort of highlight an individual area within an image and then when you let go the image will zoom in to that area okay if you have scrubby zoom on you can't do that because you when you click and drag you do this sort of zooming effect okay so if you do um, prefer to have scrubby zoom turned off or if you don't have a very powerful uh, laptop you might find that scrubby zoom doesn't really work very well for you in which case you can use this uh, magnifying glass in a different way where you just sort of highlight and click and this is how Photoshop used to work scrubby zoom was introduced like a couple of versions ago um, but before that basically this was this is how the zoom tool worked anyway okay so the next thing I want to show you is these um, quick zoom selection buttons and uh, again you can hover these to get tool tips and they'll tell you exactly what they're going to do but for example if I click 100% we'll, we'll zoom this image into 100% so this is the full resolution of the image and you can see it here if you click fit screen it will fit the entire image to the workspace window size and if you click fill screen it will basically uh, fill the fill the window based off the the height or the width of the image so that's how that basically works um, one last thing to note down here you have the actual um, value of which you're zoomed in at down in the bottom left and you also have it up here in the title of the image okay but if you want you can actually click this um, it's kind of a it's kind of a slow. I, I don't really use it ever, but you could just click 100 and you would go to 100%, or you know maybe maybe you want to go to sort of 25%. You can click 25% down there. I don't really I don't really know why they have that. I don't I don't know the use case for it personally. Okay, so the final thing that I want to show you, which is a super cool trick, when you're using the magnifying glass, you can press the space bar on your keyboard and then you get this hand and this makes your life a lot easier when you're zoomed in to sort of high resolutions like so you press spacebar you get a hand and you can actually just move your image around just by clicking and dragging clicking and dragging while holding the spacebar 
Okay, so there's one last thing to show you, and that's basically I taught you how to um, get access to the hand tool by holding down the space bar and that allows you to move your document around. But basically what you're doing is you're sort of quickly selecting the hand tool, which you can find over here, and you can press H to get to that quickly. Now I don't often use the hand tool as in this sort of physically clicking this button but there is some use cases where you might want to do that so for example if you've got two images like I have here and you can come up here and you can click scroll all windows now when you click scroll all windows you can actually move both of your windows at the same time and you can imagine how this is useful if you're zoomed like really into a document and you're looking at for example the eye and then you want to look at the lips you can actually just sort of move the image down to where the lips would be and you can basically check both images at the same time so that's the only reason why I would really use the hand tool um, you do have the same sort of zoom options that you have on your zoom tool so the hand tool and the zoom tool kind of work together and there is one other final thing that you'll find underneath the hand tool and that's basically this rotate view tool now personally I don't use rotate view tool um, it was introduced in earlier versions and it's basically for people that are using Photoshop for painting or drawing and they're using some sort of graphics tablet and the purpose of that is imagine if you're drawing uh, freehand on a piece of paper and you may just want to sort of rotate the piece of paper to allow you to uh, continue drawing without causing yourself discomfort for example you don't want to bring your arm up and sort of try to draw in an unnatural way when you're working with paper you just twist the piece of paper to the way that you want it and then you just you just carry on drawing or sketching so the rotate view tool doesn't actually um, change the crop or actually affect your images it's literally just the view of the image and uh, my understanding is it's more used for people that are going to be using tablets um, to reset your view you come up here and you click reset you also have this option rotate all windows so if you untick it you only affect one window at a time so we just click reset view that's basically the end of the tutorial I've shown you the zoom tool and the hand tool and the options that come along with it if you like this video please subscribe and check back soon for another tutorial.